Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Side Roses. In today's video, we will discuss about the cash basis taxes. Cash basis taxes are due when the payment is made as opposed to standard taxes that are due when the invoice is confirmed. Reporting your income and expenses to the government based on the cash basis method is mandatory in some countries and under some conditions. Now let's consider an example that you sell a product in the first quarter of your physical year and the payment is received in the second quarter. So based on the cash basis method, the tax you must pay for the second quarter. Now let's see how can we manage this cash basis in accounting. So for that you can just dive into the accounting module and you can just move into the configuration, settings and under the tax section we can enable the cash basis. So as you just drag down here you can find the section called taxes and here you can see the cash basis. This allows you to configure the taxes using the cash basis. So here you can see we can just use a tax cash basis journal. So by default we use as the uh, cash basis taxes as the journal. So as you just move on to the internal link you would be able to find the uh, default account and this comes under the type as miscellaneous and it has got a default short code as CABA and uh, under the advanced settings you can see you can just make the control uh, axis over here. Now let's back to the uh, settings and here you would be able to find the base tax received account. So here you can see the base tax received account which is a temporary account that is used to manage this uh, taxes and everything. And you can see that uh, the account name is tax receivable and the type is current assets. Okay, now what we have to do is uh, we just need to consider the taxes. To consider the taxes, we just move on to the configuration menu and let's move on to the taxes. And under the taxes, you can see that we have already configured a 15 percentage of cash basis over here for sales. So here you would be able to find the name and it comes under the tax type as sales and uh, the tax computation is percentage of price as well as the amount is 15 percentage and you can also find the definition like distribution for invoices as well as distribution for funds so here you can see that 100 percentage of tax is uh, taken uh, and that will be affected under the tax received account and uh, for uh, the distribution of refunds also we just consider the 100 percentage of uh, of taxes and that will be affected in this account okay now as you just move on to the advanced option you can see the tax accessibility so tax accessibility determines when the tax becomes due for the payment so there is actually two options that is based on invoice and based on payment so we usually go for based on payment for cash basis taxes so the tax is due as soon as the payment for the invoice is received okay so we have to use the uh, tax accessibility as based on payment and we just need to set the account over here. So we know under the cash basis taxes we have set a temporary account and that is tax receivable and we have choose the same account over here. Okay and later on let's move on to the uh, sales module uh, or uh, you can just manage an invoice from the accounting itself. So you can just dive into the customers and invoices. And here let me create a new invoice for my customer. So as I just move on to the uh, invoices here, I would like to choose the Jackson Group as Jackson Group is my customer. And uh, we have to choose a product over here. So the product is customizable desk and here I'm going to set the product with two quantity. And here you can see that we are just going to apply a tax of 15% cash basis. Okay, now let me save this. And let me uh, confirm the invoice. So in this case, we have just confirmed the invoice. And as you just move on to the reporting, you can see this will be affected under the partner ledger. So as we just move on to the partner ledger, here you can see the Jackson Group. And here you would be able to find all the invoices that is associated with the Jackson Group and all. And uh, here you can see uh, by uh, yeah searching with the date and all, you can find the amount and everything. Now let's back to the customer invoices and under the customer invoices you would be also able to find the journal items. So here you can see uh, the uh, total amount as well as the taxes uh, applied everything over here. So in case of product sale account uh, we know a product sale account is an income account right. So um, 
the amount is currently marked under uh, the credit side and uh, uh, tax uh, receivable is also marked under uh, the uh, credit side and uh, once the amount is received into our bank that will be um, reflected in the debit side so here you can see everything over here okay so actually the product price is 1500 by applying the tax the actually the amount will be just set as 1725 okay now i just need to make a payment okay right now so as i just click on register payment this would let me to make the payment so i'm going to make a payment of uh, uh thousand over here okay so while we are just considering uh, the amount thousand the tax will be calculated accordingly to this price okay so i'll be making a partial payment over here so here you can see the payment difference it's due which 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 means that here we have a due of 725 and uh, i will be creating the uh, create payment and the payment will be created over there so currently you can see that we have just done with the partial payment and as you just move on to the journal items um yeah not the journal items uh, we just need to move to the uh, cash basis entries here you can see that we have just made a payment of thousand and uh, you can just view that and here you can see that when you just consider uh, the amount thousand um, here you can see that uh, 130 is considered as a tax and only 869.57 is considered as the product price okay so these will be treated as the cash basis entries so when you just make the rest of the payment then only that tax will be calculated so the tax is due as soon as the payment for the invoice is received actually so now you can just move on to the reporting so as you just move on to the reporting uh under the general general ledger here you can find the uh, further change and on so here you can see that we have only received a thousand over here and um yeah that's marked under the credit side and uh, the balance is also shown over here so it's very easy to manage the cash basis now let's move on to the reporting of uh, taxes so under the tax report you would be able to find uh, the 15 percentage of cash basis uh, taxes that is affected uh, with the net amount and the uh, tax and all so if you want to just have an audit with this you can just go to the audit and this will show all the tax receivable uh, with the date journal uh, and uh, other details such as the uh, journal entry account partner label and everything now uh, let me create uh, uh, a customer invoice once more so i'm going to create a new customer invoice over there so uh, i'll be creating the customer invoice for uh, uh, wood corner where you can just fill out the details okay so i'm going to choose the product as customizable desk with a uh, 10 quantity and uh, here we just need to change the tax the tax is 15 percentage of cash basis now let me uh, save this and confirm so upon confirming this invoice you can see that the uh, invoice has moved into the posted state now as you just move on to the reporting section of the taxes here you can see that uh, none of the changes taken place but the change can be only found when we have just made the payment okay now let me again consider this uh, and uh, use uh, the register payment and here i'm going to make a payment of 4000 so we will be considering 4000 over here and uh, for this 4000 the tax will be again uh, divided and uh, according to the price uh, or amount the tax will be taken and we will be creating the payment okay so as you just move on to the journal item here you can see how it's taken and uh, what is the amount of tax that has taken also is given over here okay so actually the uh, total amount of the product is 7500 but including the tax it's uh set it as uh, 8625 uh, right but here we have just made a payment of 4000 only so as you just move on to the cash basis here you can find all the details such as actually the amount of uh the product is uh 3478.26 and uh 5 521.74 is treated as the cash so as you just move on to the reporting under the tax report you can see now the taxes will be added over here and the amount is just turned into uh six thousand i mean uh not six thousand here you can see the amount is just turned and as you just move on to the audit you would be able to find uh the report over here 
see this is the total amount and you can also find the balance over here which is shown in the negative um, symbol so this is how we just manage with the cash basis in odoo 17 accounting module